And welcome to another edition of DSU Inside Perspective. I'm Carlos Holmes, your host, and today we are sitting down with President of Delaware State University, Dr. Harry Williams. Dr. Harry Williams arrived at Delaware State University in 2008 as Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs. And in 2010, he was appointed as the 10th President of this institution of higher education. Dr. Williams, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you, today. Carlos, for inviting me to this uh, outstanding program. We know from what you shared with us that one of your greatest aspirations was to become an HBCU president, and you fulfilled that here. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. I mean, how has how's this worked for you? Has, has this cracked up to everything? Uh, well, actually, is 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 um, better than I could ever imagine in terms of the opportunity to be here at this great institution and to see it grow like this, and to uh, to be able to live in a time where you can uh, actually achieve your your dreams. And this was uh, my dream was to be a president, college president at an historically black college or university. And to be able to achieve that in my lifetime and to enjoy the, the fruits of it is, is absolutely uh, uh, amazing and wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, you've had a lot of successes in three and a half years. It's three and a half years plus you've been here. And most recently, we found out some great news. Yeah. Delaware State University had moved up. Absolutely. In, uh, from 13th to 9th in the yeah. U.S. News and World Report's annual ranking for historically black colleges and universities. Right. We know that Delaware started, when, when the magazine started these rankings in, in 2008, Delaware State University was ranked 22, and it's risen progressively yep. ever since. I think it was 17th when you became that's president. That's right, that's right, that's what right. Does, what does this mean to you and the university? Well, it means a lot, you know, to, to be recognized by uh, a body that, that is, um, they use some ob objective data to determine the quality of your institution and for us to to be in the top 10 there are 105 historically black colleges and universities in america and for delaware state to be number nine out of 10 out of 105 is, is pretty remarkable mm -hmm. but my goal and i've made this very clear is to be number one uh, when i assumed this role uh, in 2010 uh, where as you stated we were number 17 i wasn't satisfied with being 17 and i made it very clear that we were going to look at uh, uh, our internal operations and see how what what basically determine what do we need to do in order to to get to number one and we're moving in that direction and to to uh, to get this call so I got the call before it was released and I got the call from US News and World Report indicating that we had moved into the top 10 mm -hmm. so to break into top 10 is a big deal uh, and for Delaware State to be there because what they evaluate they look at the quality of your institution. They, they look at the quality of your students enrolling in your institution. They look at the resources that you have. They look at the support that you receive, not only from the state, but, but from out of the state and from other places or in, the, uh, in the world. And we have been very strategically working that in a very positive way. Uh, we're we're going to move towards number one. And there are some things that our students, we're going to have to do together in order for us to achieve that. And that's part of the, 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 the vision. And that's part of the plan. So to be at number nine, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, number one is the, is the ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. When you first got here, you made it certain that we set ourselves a course in which we started off with a new vision for the university, yep. new core values. Yep. And uh, now we have some priorities in which to guide us. What are the top priorities? Uh, and, and it's important, and I'm, I'm glad you're bringing this up, because you know, when I started, we, we needed to, to uh, put a vision together mm -hmm. to, to determine what, what, is, what do you want to be? I mean, what, and what's your goal? What do you see yourself as an institution? As you know, we've been in this community for over 120, 20 some odd years, 122 to be exact. And for us to be where we are, you know, you have to have a vision. You have to be able to see down the road. And some of the things that we laid out uh, very clearly was that we were going to have a shared vision. Not a vision that, that would be dictated by me, but a vision that would be dictated by the community. So part of my first uh, major task was to put together a major commission, a Blue Ribbon Commission that would consist of all the stakeholders uh, that would have an interest in Delaware State thriving. So we brought in our senators, we brought in our state legislators, we brought in our faculty, we brought in our students, we brought in our alums. And we all sat around a table and we, and we came up with a clear vision for the institution and a clear set of core values that's been here for over 122 some odd years. But these core values we articulated every, every single day that we value diversity, we, have, we value integrity, 
scholarship, community, and outreach. So making that part of the fiber of the institution is so important for us to move forward. So in addition to that, we have a clear focus area. What are you going to focus in on? You know, and so what we have said, and we've been very clear on this, is that we know that we, we do an excellent job in preparing students for careers in the science, technology, and engineering, and math disciplines. Because when Delaware State started, uh, science was a major part of the curriculum. So you kind of go back to your roots there. And, and, and we have some of the best scientists in the world here working at this institution. So STEM will be a priority, a focus area. We also are committed to our students uh, retaining them and making sure they graduate. So retention and graduation is a major, major focus area. Because we want our students to come, and it's very important for our freshman students to come in here and do an excellent job and to come back. Because we know that all the data that's out there, it supports mm -hmm. that students who matriculate and come back at their sophomore year and return their sophomore year, mm -hmm. they have a higher chance of graduating and moving through that process. So that's why we put all the emphasis on that first year mm -hmm. and helping making sure that those numbers and those students come back. Mm -hmm. And the number one reason that we've discovered why students do not come back to Delaware State is not because they're not satisfied with the institution, but the number one reason is because they can't afford to come back. They don't have the finances to come back. So what one of the areas that we've been focused in on is looking at avenues, how we're going to raise scholarship dollars to support these students. So that's a priority for us to raise scholarship dollars that's going to support our students so that they can graduate, making sure that they get what they need in that, in that arena. So we're also committed. Uh, the fourth initiative that we are focused in on is international globalization. I just got back from China. I was in China last week uh, extending our footprint over there. It's important for us to, our students, to have an opportunity to go to China, mm -hmm. but it's also important for China to come here because we're not only competing against students and faculty and competing against employers and people uh, in the United States. We're competing against China. We're competing against Asia, uh, um, India. We're competing against Africa. So our students need to be equipped with the tools. So the best way you get those tools is by being exposed to those uh, different cultures and having those cultures to be exposed to you. So we're committed to that. We're committed to our students having that opportunity to go and study abroad mm -hmm. and having that opportunity to connect with students who come in mm -hmm. here at this institution. We, we got a number of ongoing developments and I'm going to go through a few of them here and if you could give me a quick hit on okay. what the importance and the priority that it's addressing. Um, Delaware State College had a high school at one point that's in right. time. That's right. We're reliving that past that's now. Right. And yeah. not in a segregated way like right. we used to, but now we're going to have an early college high school, which is slated to begin yeah. uh, in the fall of 2014. Right. Yeah. Uh, why, what does the university want to accomplish with this? Well, it's important for us to kind of look at our roots, and like mm -hmm. you said, and, it's, and we started out uh, with a high school, so it's not new to, to right. some some, some uh, uh, people who are in this community, mm -hmm. but it's important for the uh, sustainability of our institution and for in terms of our mission. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're here to serve the state of Delaware, mm -hmm. and we're here to serve and making sure that the students who are in the state of Delaware have a, a strong educational, uh, strong academic foundation in preparing them. And getting back to our focus area again mm -hmm. of STEM, mm -hmm. uh, we know for a fact that students who, that there's a shortage mm -hmm. of underrepresented students going into the STEM disciplines. Mm -hmm. And it starts in high school. And it starts, you know, just getting them interested in those disciplines. So that's a, that's a crisis in our country. Mm -hmm. So Delaware State, we can help solve a particular problem that's in our country in terms of increasing the number of minorities going into, African Americans specifically, mm -hmm. going into the STEM disciplines. Because that's going to help not only the United States, but it's going to help the world. Mm -hmm. So you have a high school. So our high school is the only high school of its kind in the state of Delaware where it will focus in on STEM. Mm -hmm. And you're starting the ninth grade. Mm -hmm. And it's connected directly to our priorities again. Because we want the students to come in mm -hmm. and we want them to graduate. Mm -hmm. So the uniqueness about this high school mm -hmm because it's called early college high school, mm -hmm. is that the students will be able to uh, enroll as a freshman. And while they're enrolled, and when they graduate from high school, they will, also, they will have 60 hours of college credit earned, mm -hmm. 60 hours of college credits earned towards their degree. 
So they'll have, they'll, where, so wherever they start college, we hope they'll start here at Delaware State, but if they decide to go to another institution, they can transfer 60 hours and they start out mm -hmm. as a junior. Mm -hmm. So that, you slice your, your education in half that way. Mm -hmm. So that's going to impact retention and that's going to impact mm -hmm. graduation. And that's something that is u really unique and we feel that we're, we're excited about mm -hmm. that. It's going to open up with 100 students mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, fall of next year. We have 100 ninth graders. Mm -hmm. And another key component to this mm -hmm. is that the students that we're going to be attracting will be students coming from underrepresented communities. And they're going to be students that will be the first in their family to go to college. Mm -hmm. And the theory behind exposing these young people to a college environment, mm -hmm. the theory is that if we expose them to positive college students, positive African-American college students doing great things, that that's going to have a psychological impact on them so when they move through the high school, their confidence mm -hmm. level will be up and they will be able to see themselves in that role as a college student. Mm -hmm. So what we've done with that, we've increased the percentage of students going to college, we've increased the participation of, of minorities going to college. That's part of the goal and that's part of the mission for us in terms of moving in that, in that direction. So that's exciting to have that early college high here, so we high school here, and the ninth graders move into the 10th grade year, and we'll bring another cohort in, and then the 11th grade year, bring another cohort, and then by the time they, they become seniors, we have 400 students, uh, high school students here uh, on campus. Okay. We're going to split this up between two segments, so we want to thank you for joining us with Dr. Harry Williams today, and we're going to come back with us part two to this and talk about some of the other ongoing developments at Delaware State University. In the meanwhile, thanks for joining us. You have a good day.